Hello, good evening, Jensi. Hello, good evening. Okay, so, well, um, how are you? Um, I can say now better. <laughs> You're better? Now, yeah, my kids are, are better. I, I tried to connect it yesterday, but um, I couldn't. Oh, really? But one of, huh? one of the uh, your corporation uh, sent me a message yesterday, and I explained why I haven't taken the, the classes mm -hmm. this week. But I explained them, and they said that it, it's okay. But uh, today I said that okay. I would be here, so I'm here. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry for, for this missing dates. Oh, don't worry. Okay, it's okay. So I, I'm glad that you are uh, better, right? So that's what really matters. Okay, thank, thank you. you. All right. So good evening, Edwin. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How do you feel today? I'm fine. You're fine? Okay, so what about your day? How was it? Good, so, so relaxing. So this day was relaxing. Oh, it was relaxing? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I don't have much work mm -hmm. to do. Okay. I'm happy that it was a relaxing day. Mm -hmm. And do you have any plans for this weekend? So um, I don't have plans for this weekend. Only have a meeting with my friends okay. tomorrow and that's it. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Edwin. All right, so good evening, Rafael. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Uh, more or less, thank you. More or less? Okay. Rusty. Yeah. Okay, but are you better than yesterday? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And what about your day? How was it? Good, so, so, relaxing, busy. How was your day at work, Rafael? Ah, uh, yeah. Very busy. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a week very hard. Okay. All right. We received uh, 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 the representative of uh, Michelin Bra. Okay. okay. And we have uh, many, many meetings mm -hmm. this week. Okay. Yeah, but it's cool. Okay. All right. So, well, uh, at the end it was, well, uh, are you going to work tomorrow? Uh, I guess. <laughs> I, I oh. don't know yet because... I have a a little plan in the morning, tomorrow in the morning, but okay. todo depende de lo que pase mañana y temprano. <laughs> okay, all right, Rafael. Well, well, today is Friday, right? So maybe tomorrow some of you are going to rest and probably some not, right? But it's already the weekend. That's um, what really actually is helpful right so we can rest a little bit uh, good evening carlos good evening walter how are you guys how do you feel what about your your um your day how was it good it evening teacher good evening my day is very heavy okay all right and do you work tomorrow Yes, uh, the 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. From 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., okay. And Sunday, también. Also, okay. Yes. All right, so, yes, okay. And what about you, Walter? How are you? Uh, I'm really tired because today is a day pay or okay. payday. Yes, payday. What is payday in my work? Oh, uh, okay. it's really tired. Yeah. And tomorrow, I I'm not going to go to work, but 
I'm going to have to university. Oh. Because I am in the in the in the last year, no? No, no, in the speciali specialization. Okay, specialization. Specialization. Already, yeah. okay, so yeah. it is the last year. The last, yeah. Perfect. And what are you studying? Accountant. Okay. Perfect. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. Almost done. Right. Almost. Yeah. That is good. Okay, guys. So we are going to start. Okay. Good to see you once again. Uh, today we are finishing the third week. Right. So we are going to start with today's agenda. And well, first of all, we have the warm up. Then today we are going to end the unit number three. Okay. So we are going to finish that one. And we are going to talk about something um, very important nowadays, okay? And that is surveillance, okay? Surveillance. Then we are going to talk advantages and disadvantages. And we are going to learn how to express preferences, okay? We have the speaking time. We also have a grammar quiz and we have listening activities, okay? So we are going to start by um, asking you a couple of questions related to uh, your work, all right? So number one, how, okay, how does your manager, how does your manager know what you are working on during the office day? How do they know? Mm -hmm. How? Yeah, so let's see, I'm going to ask some of you, okay? So how does your manager know what you are working on during the office day, Edwin? So because uh, he review everything I, uh, I do. Excellent. And he review the email I sent to. Okay. All day. Perfect. Yes. And how does your manager know uh, Carlos Arias? I send report uh, or cada hora. Uh, uh, every hour. Every hour. Okay. Send Perfect. report every hour. Excellent. And what about you, Carlos Eduardo? How does your manager know what you are working on during the office day? Um, let me analyze the question. Okay. Okay. How does your manager know what you're working on? Ah, uh, yes, because I sent the reports every uh, every hour. Okay. And well. Yes, and we have tickets, and we need to, to set up the tickets. Excellent. Okay, so you send reports every hour. Yes. That is that is good. And how do you decide when to take a break during the work day, Rafael? How do you decide when to take a break? Um, uh, the break is the lunch. Um. Okay. Mm. We have break and we also have lunch. Do you have breaks and lunch or just lunch? Uh, just lunch. Just lunch. Uh, yeah, but I have a, a flexibility. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, because I can decide if I go out, go out uh, um, midday. Okay or uh, 1 p.m. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So at midnight. No, I mean, um, at noon, sorry. At noon, yeah. Yes. At noon, okay. Not midday, no. At noon. Okay. Yeah, at noon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, perfect. Then do you take breaks during the working hours or no? I mean, do you take breaks? Not lunch. Breaks. Mm, uh, sometimes, mm -hmm. because the work uh, don't stop, and I, uh, 
if I I mm, take a, a, break. a break every day, I uh, me retrasaría. Mm -hmm. So you uh, cannot postpone things, okay? No, yeah. because because if I postpone eh, something, mm -hmm. maybe this thing can be uh, forget it. Mm -hmm. So yes, you need to be really um, pending, right? You cannot delay. There are a lot, a lot of things in my world, a lot of problems, and and it's difficult to follow this this. Uh, these problems mm -hmm. and I prefer uh, take a uh, take a problem and solve it okay. in the moment perfect yeah okay thank you what about you Susana how do you decide when to take a break during the work day I don't know. My only break is at 12 o'clock in lunch. At lunch. At lunch. At lunch. And only that, I don't decide about Breaks. when it's my break. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Uh, let me ask you then, who has breaks? Nobody. Wilbur, yes? I have a break. Nancy as well. And the other ones, no. Walter? Sorry. Okay. All right. And Walter, how do you decide when to take a break? Or do you when have... I feel tired uh -huh. and I need to, to relax a mm -hmm. little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I usually... Yeah. Go to talk with some uh friends in other area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, I think that um it is important for you to take breaks, right? Mm -hmm. At least 10 minutes. Yes. Okay. And do you know what your colleagues, okay, colleagues are working on? Do you know what your colleagues are working on or everything is individual? I mean... In your case, Anna, do you know what your colleagues are working on? Uh, I don't understand the question, teacher. Okay. So do you know what your colleagues are working on, meaning your um your team? Do when he uh, started the job. Yes, the activities that they do and everything. Uh, I believe that all uh, start the activities at a p a m eight a m eight a m mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay all right so yes yeah, sometimes um if you work in a team you need to know what your colleagues are doing right because everything is connected right so you need to finish something and then you need to pass it to somebody else to complete it and so on right sometimes yes but I think that in this case, uh, I think that you all do everything like individually. Yes, it is uh, individually activities for all the team. Excellent. Okay, perfect. So now let's move to building vocabulary. Okay, let's talk about unit three. We are going to finish with this unit today. And we are going to start by talking about vocabulary so as you can see guys we have a couple of words right here from one to seven and we need to match the words to their meanings okay so let's see what is this word number one mm -hmm. this one is surveillance yeah surveillance so what is it? Have you seen this word before or is this the first time that you are seeing it? I've never seen it. Okay, yes, I know. This word is kind of um, 
um, it is useful, but not that often, okay? So this word, guys, means uh, this one, all right? So it is the act of watching someone closely to detect a crime. So surveillance means um, like vigilancia, okay? Vigilancia, yes. What about reassure? What is the meaning of reassure? Mm -hmm. The action or crime of stealing? Mm, not exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sometimes that causes fear or nervous? Mm, no. If it remove someone's Doubts and fears. Correct. Uh, number four, teacher. Yes. Fact. Same call. Mm, no. Okay. So, what is the meaning of reassure? In this case, is to remove someone's doubts and fear. fears. Hmm? Yeah. Yes, reassure. Okay. So basically, reassure means a uh, tranquility. Okay. Ah, tranquilizar. Tranquilizar o calmar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. What about behavior? What is the meaning of behavior? Conduct or comportamiento. Correct. So... Um, the first one, the way someone... Correct. So it is going to be number one. The way someone acts. Your behavior, right? Your behavior can be good or bad. It depends, right? What about uh, theft? The theft. action of crime of stealing. Yeah. Okay. It is the action or crime of stealing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So it is the action or, uh, or crime of stealing. Okay. Uh, what is the meaning of wage? The amount of money paid to an employee. Okay, very good. Yes. Give me a synonym for wage. A synonym. The amount salary? of money. Okay. The amount of money, salary, payment, right? Yes. And what is the meaning of tip? Uh, to give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service. Excellent. Okay. Who has provided. Yeah. Provided. Provided. Perfect. And a spooky. Uh, the last something that causes fear or nervousness. Yes. It's a spooky. spooky. So a spooky, guys, means like espeluznante. Okay. Yes. Okay, that is an adjective. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mention something that is spooky. Mm -hmm. Something that is a spooky for you. Uh, a face. What? Okay. All right. Mm hmm Mm, some horror movies are spooky. Teacher is spooky, uh, sim similarly a, a killer? No. Mm, no, a spooky means... Um, I a heard it for, in, for, like for, miedoso? for, for Halloween. Miedoso, Ajá, espelu espeluznante. Algo que causa miedo. Algo when que... you have fear. Mm -hmm. Pero es algo, es algo que a usted le causa miedo, nervios, porque es algo feo, espeluznante. Mm -hmm. Yes, in, uh, in Halloween we can, we can uh, hear that word, it's spooky, a lot, right? And even some people um, actually call their dogs spooky, right? Yes, yes. This one is a really uh, common nickname in English for dogs, 
or cat sometimes. Yes. Okay. So now uh, let's move and let's continue with vocabulary. Okay. Let me just erase this. Okay. What we need to do is that we are going to match the meaning to the word. Okay. So okay. let's see. Uh, what is the meaning of idle? What is idle? Have you seen this word before? Idle? Yeah, but I don't know what's the meaning. Uh, uh. Idle. Yes. I don't know if you have seen that whenever you go on uh, Google, on Gmail, right? Sometimes you see your chat and it says idle. Have you noticed that? Have you seen that? Yeah. Not so, working or being used? Yes. Not working or being used. So idle means desocupado. Idle. Desocupado. Sometimes you can change your status, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, invasion. What is the meaning of that? A negative act with is unwelcome. Correct. Excellent. A negative act which is unwelcome. You see, unwelcome, the opposite of welcome. If you want to say you are unwelcome. No eres bienvenido, right? You are unwelcome. You are welcome. Positive. Okay. What about keystroke? What is it? What is kiss stroke? A single touch of a key on a computer? Yes. Paper? Correct. Very good. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is monitor as a verb? The last one, number H. H. A system for watching people together, to gather information. Mm, to gather information, not exactly. No, I think it's the letter A. Letter A. Observe it sometimes. Okay, can you please read letter A? Mm -hmm. uh, Walter? A uh, system for watching people. No, monitor. Yeah. All right. Observe. I read, I read? No. Please. Okay. Monitor, observe something over a, peri a period of time to see what is does and gated information. Yes, okay. Pronunciation, guys. This one is going to be gather, okay? Gather. gather. Perfect, gathering. Yeah, so gathering. this one is monitor is not that is not the monitor, right? With your computer. No, the monitor is a verb. In this case, it is functioning as a verb, and we have V because it's a verb right now. Oh. Mm -hmm. So whenever you want to monitor your people, that's what you do. You observe your people, you monitor your people, you monitor your team, right? Mm -hmm. So then productivity. What is productivity? Letter E. Okay. And what is letter E? The amount of work a person or groups of people does measure against how long it takes them to do it and the cost of doing it. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is productivity, right? What about uh, register? What is register? Letter uh, F. F. In a way that is trying not to be seen or noticed? No, letter B. Let it be. Okay, letter B. And what is letter B? Record or notice something. Or notice something. Okay. All right. What is surreptitiously? Yes. 
I think is letter F. It is letter F, okay. In a way that is trying not to be seen or noticed, okay. So uh, surreptitiously means secretamente o could mean a escondido. And this word that is the one that you are going to see today a lot, right? Which is number eight. Mm -hmm. Surveillance, right? Which is a system for watching people to gather information. Yes, okay, very good. Vocabulary. So now let's move and let's continue with some images, okay? All right, so have you seen those at work? Security camera, right? This one is a security camera. So what about this one? This one is called, it could be with this cable or without it. And this one is called hidden, hidden camera. The one that is kind of round like this. Okay, and then we also have this one, which is a spy camera. Where can you see those little cameras? Where? Have you seen those or no? At work? No, <laughs> at work, never. In this? Only in movies. The yeah. first and the hiding, maybe. Hidden. 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 And this one, no. The hidden camera looks like a web camera. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. It looks like that. But um, the hidden camera is without the cable, right? It's just like there, this, this part. Um, you know, the spy camera uh, in many call centers, they have this. Where? Yeah, the, the spy camera. I, I can hear you. Where? Oh, in many call centers. Ah. Yes, this one. So those are for, you know, um, employers, right? To sometimes um, measure what you are like doing, things like those. All right, but okay, so now we are going to read an article from the book and you will notice that we are basing on uh, restaurants, okay, restaurants. So let's see, I need three volunteers. Um, who wants to read? Okay, Anna, the first paragraph. Me. Uh, okay, Nelson, the second paragraph and Raul, the last paragraph. Okay, go Anna. Most of the public discussion of surveillance technology and its use revolves around the question, is it spunky or fissuring? But a different issue is the effect of surveillance on behavior. Mm -hmm. And a new research paper shows in detail how significant the kind the surveillance effect can be. The research measures the impact of software that monitors employee level then and sales transaction before and after the technology was installed at 392 restaurants in 39 states. Mm -hmm. Employee theft and, and fraud, fraud is a big problem. Estimated at up to 2,000 billion a, a year across the economy. Most of the restaurant industry pays its servers low wage and they depend on tips. Employee replacement is high in that environment a uh, certain amount of death has long been 
regarded as a normal part of the business. A simple exam, a, a simple example is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks and urging, urging the customers to take care of me with a large tip. Other tactics, tactics are more elaborate. Yes. Uh, but monitoring software is now available to track all transitions and detect subspixial parents after the installation of the monitoring software in come uh, per restaurant increased by an average of 2,982 a week, knowing they were being uh, monitored the servers not only pull it back on any um, ethical mm -hmm. practice, but also channel channel their efforts into say pump prompt prompt in customer to have that dessert or a second beer. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys. Um, so first of all, we are going to base on vocabulary. Okay, so here we have a spooky or reassuring. So it says, um, the the uh, the question is, is it a spooky or reassuring? We are talking about surveillance. Yeah. So is it a spooky or reassuring? What am I asking? If I say, is it a spooky or reassuring? Mm -hmm. You know that surveillance is vigilancia, right? Cameras. Yeah. So now, is it a spooky or reassuring? Reassuring. I think it's a spooky. <laughs> okay. So a spooky and reassuring. Why a spooky? And then... Why reassuring? Oh. Uh, how do you know uh, the the information is uh, used for this purpose? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you don't know. Uh, uh, maybe uh, the information uh, be collected for a bad person and use the, the, the your your data to uh, uh, como se dice? for different purposes for different purposes uh, como extorsión o cualquier cosa así okay. Mm -hmm. okay all right and why reassuring uh, in my opinion, uh, surveillance technology is reassured because uh, it could be to reassure uh, the people in a specific place, uh, for example, a restaurant or at home in the in the office. Uh, or wherever uh, that the people stay. Where the people stay. All right. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Mm, I think that Rafael has a good point and you as well. And Nelson, um, it's really complicated, right? But okay, let's continue. So right now, um, behavior, okay, pronunciation behavior yeah then we also have installed and this one is pronounced theft th theft yeah this one is 200 okay 200 not 2000 200 
Yeah. And those low wages. Wages. Yeah. Plural. Argin. Yeah. What is argin? Argin. Es como animar a alguien a hacer algo. Argin. Yeah. Then we also have increased. Yeah. Uh, being, being pulled back. So pulled back without ed, guys. Pulled back without ed, without ed. Pulled back means retroceder. Pull back. Okay. And then we also have unethical. Unethical. Yeah. Ethical, positive. Unethical, negative. Yeah. So it says right here. It says, read the last paragraph. It says, monitoring software is not available to track all transactions and detect suspicious patterns. After the installation, and uh, listen to this, after the installation of the monitoring software, income, what is the meaning of, the meaning of income? Entradas, ganancias, to entradas. Income per restaurant increased. So at least the surveillance is something positive for restaurants and for businesses, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine knowing they were being monitored, that means employees, right? Knowing they were being monitored, the servers not only pulled back on any unethical practices, but also channeled their efforts into, say, prompting customers to have the dessert or a second beer. And that happens sometimes at work, right? At the workplace, that probably you are not being monitored and you do a lot of things and people do not know. So when it comes to companies, I think that uh, surveillance is important. That's what I think, right? Imagine hap uh, there actually uh, happens uh, something, right? You need to have proofs, right? Well, I don't know if you can uh, listen to me because of my internet. Okay, uh, let's continue. Can you hear me? Yes? Okay. Yes. Yeah. I, uh, okay, let's continue, guys. Let me ask you, according to this paragraph, let me ask you a couple of questions, okay? Why do people think surveillance is considered a spooky? Well, Rafael already said something really important that you don't know the purpose, right? Sometimes, oh, yeah, sometimes yeah. Um, it could be extortion, right, or something. What other thing? Can you mention why do people you don't have privacy? Uh, you don't have privacy. Privacy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And how many restaurants were part of the research according to this reading, guys? How many restaurants were part of this research? According to this short reading. 392. 392 restaurants. Very good. Mm -hmm. And what is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? According to this article. 200 billion. 200 billion. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is correct. Now, what is a pro tactic used by bartenders? What is a tactic? Imagine. Mm -hmm. What is a pro tactic? Uh, people don't pay her drinks. Oh, they ring they drinks. Excellent. Yeah. And what was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring software? It was? 
982 dollars. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is correct. And the last one. What was the change in behavior in the staff after the monitoring software was installed? What was the change in behavior? They can increase the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Correct. And it says that the servers not only pull back on any unethical practices, right? But also channel their efforts into, say, prompting customers to have the dessert or a second beer. So they started uh, doing the things in the correct way, basically, right? Okay, guys. So do you have any question right now about this um, reading vocabulary? No. What do you mean prompting? The same question. Okay. What is the meaning of uh prompting? prompting? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A prompting is like saying rapidamente. Sí, es como rapidamente, prompting. Okay, gracias. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Very good. It's like saying rapidamente. Uh -huh. Como decirle a los customers, rápidamente, to have the dessert or a second beer, like being proactive, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. All right, let's move. Now we are going to talk about this topic, which is very interesting, and you are going to learn a lot, okay? So we are going to talk about advantages and disadvantages, okay? Um, in English, we have different ways to say ventajas y desventajas, yeah? And today we are going to learn how, how to say ventajas y desventajas in different um, ways. But first, I'm going to take the attendance, okay, because it's already 842. Okay, so Ana Lorena Lovato. Present. Thank you. Eh, Andrea Sofía. Andrea. Blanca Jennifer. Present. Thank you, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Thank you. Eh, Carlos Francisco Arias. Present, teacher. Thank you, César Homero Amaya. Eh, Edwin Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you, Eulice Torres. Eulice. Fátima Noemí. Fátima. Present, present Thank you. Teacher. Thank you. Eh, Glenda Toledo. Glenda. Glenda is not here. Jose Salvador Bernal. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Houseman Atilio Serrano. Houseman. Let me see. No, he's not here. Okay, um, Juan Francisco Salmerón, Karen Lisette Sanchez. Thank you, Karen. Uh, Catherine Indira Velázquez. Um, Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. I'm here. Yes, thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Raúl Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosa del Carmen Enriquez. Present. Thank you, Susana Milena. Present. Walter David Diaz. Present. Thank you, uh, Wilber Alberto. Present. Thank you, and Jensi Azucena. Present. Yes, okay. All right, guys, let's move and let's continue, okay? So we are going to learn about advantages and disadvantages, okay? Uh, Nelson, help us reading the light blue side okay. and Raul the red side. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, an advantage. Uh, okay. 
One one or he read all the blue ones? Okay, yes, one and one. Okay. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, Good. <laughs> okay, so uh okay. So first, um the light blue Nelson, you are start with a, an advantage and then Juan Raul a disadvantage. Like that, okay? So you are going to interchange. Okay, good. An advantage. Uh, but a uh, disadvantage. A benefit. A drawback. A positive aspect. An objection. A good point. A negative effect. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. So this is basically vocabulary for you whenever someone asks you about advantages and disadvantages. If right now I ask you, okay, can you tell me a benefit and a drawback of surveillance technology? Okay, so how can you answer it? A benefit is that you will be monitored. What is a drawback? That you cannot have privacy. Yeah. So all of these mean, all of these mean advantages, but with different vocabulary, right? Those are synonyms. And all of these mean disadvantage, something negative. Most of the time, you are going to be asked, right? Tell me an advantage of uh, working from home and a disadvantage. And if you want to improve your vocabulary in the way that you speak, so if somebody asks you, tell me an advantage and a disadvantage of working from home. Okay, yes, a benefit could be that you are going to feel comfortable. And a drawback is that um, you will have more tasks to do. You see? So you are using vocabulary. That's what you need to learn to do, to use synonyms. Just in that way, you are going to expand your vocabulary. Now, if I ask you, if I ask you right now, what are the advantages and disadvantages of being rich? I want you to think about that. And I want you to use this vocabulary. Okay, I'm asking you, what are the advantages and disadvantages of being rich? Okay, I'll give you 20 seconds for you to have your ideas. And I will ask somebody that is uh, in the class, right? Advantages and disadvantages of being rich, of having money. Okay, do I have a volunteer or no? Uh -huh. No? Okay. Can I? Yes, go. Ab uh, advantages, uh, you can buy anything where you want. Mm -hmm. And disadvantages is uh, uh, you don't have a uh, free friends, uh, true friends. You don't have true friends. Okay, very good. Okay, well done. Susana, what about you? What do you think? Can you please let us know advantages and disadvantages of being rich? Okay, I think a positive aspect is you could be healthy always. And if you don't feel good, you could go at the hospital. To the hospital, okay. Yeah, and a negative aspect is the same. 
You don't. ¿Cómo sería? You don't feel good always when you need when you need it. Okay. That could be a negative aspect of, of being rich. Okay. Might be. All right. So now, what are somebody else? Okay. What are the advantages and disadvantages of being famous? What do you think? What are the advantages and disadvantages of being famous? But this time, I need you to please give me two advantages and two disadvantages. Two and two. Okay? I'll give you 20 seconds. Think about it. Of being famous. Okay, do I have a volunteer? No, let me pick somebody. Um, Salvador, can you please tell us two advantages and two disadvantages of being famous? They, they can... They can in, influyentes, como se dice. They can influence, pueden influenciar. They can influence mm -hmm. other people. Okay. That is that is a benefit or is it a drawback? Mm, both. Okay, both. Okay, a benefit and a drawback. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. mm, uh, disadvantages. A disadvantage. Disadvantage. They have no privacy. They don't have privacy. They don't have privacy. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Salvador. All right, so yes, very good. Now, the last one that we are going to practice here in the main room, what are the advantages and disadvantages of being young? There are many, but there, there are many advantages. There are many positive aspects. There are many negative aspects, ne drawbacks. Right? But what do you think? Okay, so what are the advantages and disadvantages of being young? I think that a positive um, aspect a is positive. that. Yes? Mm -hmm. A positive aspect. To have less problems or preoccupation. Worries. Worries. You have less problems and worries, yes. Yes. And a benefit, I think I have a lot of time to do that I want. You have a lot of time to do whatever you want. I drug back, I think that uh, and maybe I could not have Money. Uh -huh, because, that is yes, I work, for example. Mm -hmm. A benefit is you don't pay tax. <laughs> you don't pay anything, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have less responsibilities. Yes, of course. Mm hmm. What else? Maybe a disadvantage is that you need to attend your fathers or your parents. Parents? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, could be. 
yes. Okay. Uh, probably a positive aspect is that you don't get tired so easily, right? Because you have a lot of energy. You're young, right? Don't have uh, pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Could be, right? Okay. So, very good. Now, that's what we are going to do with the following questions, okay? So we have the opposite. What are the advantages and disadvantages of being old? Yeah. What are the advantages and disadvantages of living in a city? And the opposite. What are the advantages and disadvantages of living in the countryside? Si usted se preguntaba cómo se dice campo, se dice countryside, okay? The city, el campo, countryside, okay? No el camp ni el field, es countryside. Después, what are the advantages and disadvantages of living in a house? And the opposite, what are the advantages and disadvantages of living in an apartment? What do you think? Have you ever been to a slumber party? What is a slumber party? Llamada. Okay. Have you ever been to a slumber party? Yes or no? Okay. All right. And then we are going to go back to the main room. But right now we are going to start uh, practicing with those. We have three, six, six questions. Okay. But I need to please practice. I need you to please practice. Okay. As much as you can with this vocabulary. Remember, something that I want to mention is that if you are going to say, Una ventaja es esta. Entonces tenemos que decir an advantage is. Okay. Si usted va a decir algunas ventajas son. Some disadvantages are. Okay. Recuerde que tiene que pluralizar y tiene que, si es singular, singular. Si es plural, plural. Okay. The same thing. With benefits, right? A benefit is. Pero si yo quiero decir algunos beneficios son. Some benefits are. Aquí todo está en singular. Si se fija, lleva la a, 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 an. Si lo quiere pluralizar, some. Okay? Let's move. Okay? Let me go ahead and create the rooms. I have a question. Yes. When you use good, you the verb, the verb it tiene que estar en pasado, presente o for eh, si usted, uh, uh, if you use could. Could, yeah. Could. Um it should be in present. Dep depende. Um, what is the idea? Mm. Sí, no sé. Okay. For example, if you want to say, tú puedes hacer esto. El poder del podría, el could. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sí. Puede, tú podrías hacer esto. You could do this. Do. Okay. Verbo base. Okay. 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 All right. Let's move. Cini, Andrea, Raúl, Rosa, okay. Karen, José Salvador, Carlos Domínguez, Rafael. Well, Karen, I think that I'm going to move it to number four. Okay. Well, 
Tenemos esperanza. Averiguamos cuántos jugadores hay involucrados primero. ¿Qué nota si tú ya han encubierto? Apuntar un robo. Who has the picture? ¿No? Estas personas tienen rifles de asalto MK-18. Si algo se ve mal, a vos. ¿Tengo claro? Entendido. ¿Está? Sí. I can't hear my screen. Yes. Yeah. What are the advantage and disadvantage of being being old? Uh, disadvantage disadvantages it could be you always uh, are asleep. All the time. <laughs> all the time, yes, all the time. An advantage uh, could be, uh, I don't know, but when you are young, uh, the old people doesn't respect you because they say, uh, you don't know nothing about the life. <laughs> Maybe some uh, advantage is that you weigh less in the bank, for example. Uh, for, no sé cómo se dice, cajas especiales. Cajas eh, especiales. Como especially we... eh. in the bands, uh -huh. ah. like maybe a I, a, a special section for mm -hmm. for all people where you go mm -hmm. where, where you go to the bank, they, they are the first, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a disadvantage uh -huh. for me is. You could eat less because you te llenas, no sé cómo se dice. Ah, uh, you get full easily. You get full easily. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> Para mí sí. <laughs> me ha pasado. Okay. Maybe other disadvantage is that. They have a back package, a paid package. They have backaches, yes. Backaches. Backaches. And pay in your knees. And pain, uh -huh, in your knees. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have, but <laughs> for <laughs> that is. <laughs> okay, for them it's like for them. They, they usually have this, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's common, right? Okay. Okay. The next question, or do you have another idea? No, it's okay. No. <laughs> okay. The next is what are the advantage and disadvantage of living in a city? An advantage would be. You have uh, uh, no es uh, the, the people listen uh listen kind okay. uh um, and the pollution is a problem in the cities. Yes. The, 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 the most problem is the traffic in, in the city. Oh yeah. my God, the traffic is so terrible. This day is awful. 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 That is correct. Uh, Rafael, people are are not kind. <coughs> yeah, I, I forgot. Yeah. People are not kind. Are not that? kind, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, the, uh, the traffic is awful. Living in the city, that's a, a big disadvantage. The traffic, the pollution as well. The cost of living is high sometimes, right? In different 
um, cities. And for example, it is noisy. For example, uh, Escalon. Okay. Another dis disadvantage is uh, you have a uh, stranger neighbors. <laughs> really? Well, in my case is is true. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, Why? it's a problem. Uh, I have a, a neighbor is a woman. Uh, and she has, uh, uh, I guess, six puppies in a, a small house and and stinks everywhere. Mm. It's a problem. Okay. Yeah. The uh, alcaldía, how do you say alcaldía? Uh, uh, no. The city hall. The city hall visit her. Uh, uh, I think he, uh, a month ago. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what they say, but but um, they never never come. But the 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 puppies uh, are still there. Are still there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Could be. Yeah. yeah. And maybe another disadvantage could be um, well, nowadays I think that it has been reduced, right? But before it was really but really dangerous. Right in the city. Yeah, but in this country, the the what do you say? Uh, in this country, the 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 dangerous is generalized. Generalized the uh, the delinquency. Yeah, because in the countryside, uh, we have this problem too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, in the cantones and in villas, you can see a uh, present. Uh, you can. Uh, wow. Well, no. ¿Cómo dice? Ay, se me olvidó el pasado de qué. ¿Sí? Could. Could you could you could uh amaras. Gangsters. A uh, gangsters. Uh, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, okay. Continue, guys. Okay. Continue. Continue. Give me one second. Okay. And what are the advantages and disadvantages of living in the countryside? And this vintage is a. Uh, Far away, the city. Yeah, yeah, and far away the city, and and in the bank and the supermarket. These size, this this place are be more more far away. Yes. Yeah. And other disadvantages, do you know? You know, I think that a disadvantage of living in the countryside could be that sometimes they do not have electricity. They don't have water, right? Um, I went to this place uh, that is called... Uh, a little contamination? Yes, a little contamination. I went to Monte Cristo is the place. I went ah. there. Yeah, and the Beautiful. thing is that right at the top of the of that mountain there is a house. Well, there are many houses around four, I think, but they do not have um electricity. Yeah. So, I mean, they don't have, don't have internet. 
uh, they don't have internet, they don't have TV, they have nothing. Mm -hmm. So if something happens, they, they don't know. Yes, yes. And what do you prefer, the city or the countryside? In my case, I prefer the city. Really? <laughs> Yes, okay. I, because I have everything around me, right? So I have the supermarket. Um, I have probably different places where I can go and visit, right? Yeah. But of course, if we talk about which place is more peaceful than the other one, we can say that the countryside is better, right? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, it's, it's a good thing of the cities. Yes. So the city is better, I think, right? For us, right? Yes. But okay. All right, guys. Continue with the next okay. questions. What are the advantages and disadvantages? Have you ever been to a slumber party, guys? <laughs> Slumber. Now? Ah. No. No, never? I haven't. No? No. Okay. No. All right. Maybe they get... <laughs> okay. So can you tell me uh, some advantages and disadvantages of living in the city? Uh, one advantage of living in the city is... Uh, the place, for example, the supermarket mm -hmm. or another place, they are near. Mm -hmm. uh, but one disadvantage of living in the city is the noiser. The noise? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what are some advantages and disadvantages of living in the countryside? Mm -hmm. Rose, Andrea. Advantages and disadvantages of living in the countryside. I think one advantage of living in the countryside is the the people is very polite. Okay. And the one disadvantage the living in the countryside is the streets are dark at night. Ah, okay. That is a disadvantage, yes. It is dangerous, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. the disadvantage of living in uh, I forget the in the, the countryside. In the countryside, is that you had to get up early to get to work? Mm, yes, that is correct. If you live far away from the city, and that is a really good point. If you live far away from the city, you need to wake up. I think at three a.m. Right because you need to take the bus probably that that um passes around 4 a.m probably so yes that is a big disadvantage very good i haven't thought about that one okay let's go to the main room guys let's go okay
Uh, Nelson, can you please let us know advantages and disadvantages of living in the countryside? Okay. Uh, a good point to live in the countryside. Maybe in this place uh, are less pollution. In this place is. Is, is, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. This place is uh, less solution, less pollution. Okay. An uh, objection. Mm. Uh, recreative places uh, mm -hmm. are more are farther okay for example mm -hmm. okay um all right recreational places okay recreational Recre so, recreational thank you thank yeah you. okay yeah mm, you have a good point right there okay so let's see uh, can you please give us advantages and disadvantages of living in an apartment susana let me see if we have Susan. Yes. Excuse me, can you repeat me? Yes. Uh, what are the advantages and disadvantages of living in an apartment? Some disadvantages are uh -huh. you, you don't have your own rules because in in some buildings uh, don't permit it from west don't um is not allowed is not allowed allowed have pets to have pets and I love the animals so that's a uh, disadvantage for me. <laughs> okay. Um, and a, an advantage, I think it's the price mm -hmm. because it's, it's more cheaper than it's a house. It's cheaper? It's cheaper than a house. Mm -hmm. Do you think so? Okay. Mm hmm Okay, could be right. Okay. And Carlos, Carlos Eduardo, can you please let us know some advantages and disadvantages of living in a house? Okay, uh, the benefits are uh, you have a, with, if you have a big family, mm -hmm. uh, you can stay comfortable in your house. And you have a garden and you can have a pet. And the drawback could be uh, the high bill. You have to pay a high bill. Mm -hmm. And what else? Um, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's the only <laughs> maybe that I can. All right. Do. Yes, very good. Okay, I think that the ones that you have mentioned are perfectly correct, right? Now, guys, let's move to the other short topic that we are going to cover today. And this one is about expressing preferences, okay? With would rather. Um, Anna, can you please help us reading all of this? All? Yes. Expressing preference. Good Freider. Mm -hmm. I, the structure I plus Good Freider mm -hmm. plus bear in base form must complement, place complement. Okay. I would rather mm -hmm. go to the movies. Mm -hmm. I would rather go to the movies. Okay. And uh, the next structure I must plus. Mm -hmm. Wolf Raider, 
plus verb in base four, plus done, plus verb in base four and complement. Mm -hmm. I would rather go to the movies than go dancing. I'll rather go to the movies than go dancing. Okay, repeat after Thank me you. and say rather. Rather. Ra, rather. Rather. Okay, guys. So when we want to express preferences, we can use would rather. Okay. So that means that you prefer something. Yeah. And we have the examples right there and also the structure. So for the structure, we use I. In this case, this is the structure that we are studying. That's with I, with I only. Okay. Because if we say he, she, it is a different structure. Okay. We are learning how to express preferences for ourselves. Yeah. So I plus would rather plus verb in base form plus complement. So I would rather go to the movies. Okay. Or the contraction. I'd, I'd rather go to the movies. Yeah. And we also have the second example. In this case, we have a long sentence because we are comparing two things. I would rather go to the movies than go dancing. Okay? Or I rather the contraction go to the movies than go dancing. Yeah? So what I need to what I need to notice is this, guys. That we are not going to use the verb in ing. We cannot say I would rather go into the movies. Okay, it is mandatory that you use this structure. Okay, and then we also have the negative. Okay, I would rather not plus verb in base form plus complement, and we have two examples. Susana, can you please help us reading the two examples? I would rather not go to the movies. I feel very tired. I'd rather, I'd rather, uh, no, no. I'd rather not go to the movies. I feel very tired. Excellent. Thank you. So I would rather not go to the movies. I feel very tired. So preferiría no ir. Okay. I rather not go to the movies. Uh, there is missing an S. I feel very tired. Okay. Would rather not. Yes. Okay. Would rather. Okay. Expressing preferences. Expressing preferences. We have positives. We also have negatives. Yeah. But we also have questions. Yeah. Would you rather have love or money? Why? What would you rather, guys? What would you rather have? Love or money? At this point in our lives? Money. <laughs> yes, okay, so money. Money too. <laughs> love, so love, money. 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 Love and no security. <laughs> If, if I have money, money, I can't I can buy, buy the love. love. I would rather. If you have money, you can have buy love. Money. Oh my God. The, the love, the love, no security. The, the love is not secure. Okay? It's true. Oh <laughs> you don't need love. <laughs> okay. This is true. All right. So we all would rather have uh money. Okay, money and not love. Okay. So, would you rather go out or watch TV? I would rather rather <laughs> uh, watch TV. Watch TV? Yes. The other ones, would you rather go out or watch TV? I would rather watch, would rather TV, watch TV too. I would so rather go out. Everybody loves to stay out. Go out. <laughs> we are all teachers. I would rather we are all <laughs> watch TV too. Okay, oh my God, okay, guys. Okay. And would you rather go to Europe or Asia and why? I need you to give me one reason. Would you rather go to Europe or Asia? I would rather go to Europe. Go to I, would rather, I would rather go to Asia. But Asia. why, guys? I would like to know. I would rather to Europe. 
Europe, why? Uh, Different champion. food. Mm -hmm. For example, in my case, I would like to watch some uh, uh, game of Champions League. Oh, okay. Yeah, in the stadium. Okay. That's but why I will rather go to Europe. Okay, that's a good reason. Perfect. Okay. I would rather to go to Asia because it's a interesting. Uh, that is not country. Is culture. Culture. Continent. A continent. And okay. inside of this continent, it, they are more, more. No, in this continent, inside there, they are more countries. So, Asia, Asia? is they 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 have very interesting interesting things about food, uh, culture, uh, the people Places. very. Very, very you want to eat ratas, maybe, or snakes. <laughs> Don't eat bats, man. What? Okay. All right. Okay. They're, they have a variety of food, okay? Yes, that is true. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And what about uh, you, eh, Anna? Would you rather go to Europe or Asia? I would rather Europe. Okay. Maybe I want to know the if if feel towers. Okay. Yes, I feel tower. Okay. Friends, because of friends. Uh -huh. Okay. Perfect. Yes, guys. Okay. Now, what about this ones? Okay. For your birthday, for your birthday, would you rather receive cash or a gift? That is easy. Uh, Both of them. Easy. Guys, cash. you never say, you never say no. You say always money, cash. Yes, money. Money transfer. Okay. <laughs> the girls, okay? Susana, what about you? Would you rather receive cash or gifts from the people that I you really love? I would rather receive cash for cash my birthday. Account. Yeah. Oh my God. Amy. Because I can I can buy whatever I want. Okay. But it's it is better if someone gives you a surprise. Okay, so uh, put the money into a, a cash. <laughs> surprise me with the money. To a box. Okay? In a box? <laughs> in a box, okay. In a box, oh, sorry. In a box and surprise the money. <laughs> okay, all right, guys. Okay. okay. Amazon gift card. <laughs> Amazon gift cards, okay. All right. Now, That's would cool, you man. rather... Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Would you rather explore a space or the ocean? The ocean. The ocean. Oh, I will... Rather space explore explore the space. Why? Why is space and why the ocean? I think the ocean because I live in under there. Sobre el no. No above. Above on um, above the above, ocean. Above above it. the ocean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the space it's mm -hmm. not there. It's another what far away from here. Mm -hmm. That's the reason. Okay, mm, it's a good point. You want to why, why the space? It's in the future, we are going to live in the space, not in the ocean. <laughs> and I need to be prepared for that. Okay, you need to. Maybe the space. In You're my watching case. a lot of movies. <laughs> A little more. Okay. I will. I will ra rather explore the space because we don't know what are uh, beyonds. What is? Okay, but all right, guys. 
Well, it is difficult, right? Well, the ocean, I mean, it is dangerous because we don't know what, um, what we have, right, in the ocean. But the space is also dangerous. I mean, you can die. Teacher, if you think about about the death, uh, I would I would rather uh, go to explore the space because in the ocean, uh, the water, the yes. food, mm -hmm. no, the, I I think the the death is it's very slow than the space. If you think if you think about the death, the death, uh -huh. the death. Do you think so well? Could be right. Okay, Raul, it's okay. All right. All right, let's move. Would you rather work in a group or work alone? And why? I would rather work alone. Why? <laughs> rather, okay, rather. Why? Rather. Because uh, something the people are slow is correct yes sometimes people are yeah are slow and i don't have patience patience you don't have patience patience yes okay you don't have patience no okay freely <laughs> okay anna so you okay you would rather work alone okay yes. and the other ones would you rather I work think, alone or in a group uh-huh i think it depends because if you have, if you are in the university, mm -hmm. you need to, you can work alone, but if you are in your job, you mm -hmm. need to work with someone. Yes, okay, all right. But but in general, would you rather work in a group or alone, you, Walter? In general, it doesn't matter if it is at work or a, no, in general. I would rather work alone. Alone as well? Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I agree with uh, Anna, Anna because okay. the people is slow and I don't have patience too. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. And you, Salvador, Nelson, Susana, Karen, Rafael, James. I no? would rather work in a group. Okay. Because because um, uh, I like to know different, okay. different uh, things, uh, pensamientos, uh, different thoughts, different thoughts, and I like to make uh, kiddies. Jokes. What? Jokes. Jokes, jokes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. May I would. <laughs> I would rather work in a group. Okay. Why? Because I, I came to learn. I can learn. I can learn the others. Oh, from others. From others. Okay. You see, it is better to work in a group, right? But sometimes, yes, I understand that, that we don't have patience, right? But okay, let's move, okay, let's move. Now, would you rather, okay, would you rather have more time or more money? More time or more money? I would rather have a, <laughs> okay. yeah, it's an option. Yes. Yeah. Why? Both Gen Z as well. But uh, why? You need a balance. Is is uh for um mental healthy. Okay. Because you have a, a a time to work if you work uh more than eight hours. Mm -hmm. uh, the the disgust is weird. Okay. The the wear of your mind is is more, mm -hmm. and you lose your your health. Yes. 
but you need the money too. <laughs> All right. Well, I would rather have more time because wow. because I don't have time. <laughs> I I went to the work and I I'm back to the home. Then I'm I'm in class and I sleep and all again. Okay. So I need more time for me, for my friends, for my family. For share with them. To share, to share with them. Okay, yes. Well it is difficult, right? I think that I don't know. Teacher just say that uh, think outside the box. <laughs> okay. Yes, that is correct, right? So I think that in my case, I would rather I would rather have more time. That's in my case, okay. Why? Because I think that sometimes you need to have more time, right? <laughs> to do different things. I mean, to complete, to finish, to do things in a better way. You sometimes um, are in a rush, right? And sometimes you don't do things in a correct way or probably you don't do your best, right? But if you had more time, you would do it. In their court, you are going to have more money because if we focus on the things that you can probably develop or work on, you will do those things in, in the best possible way. Therefore, the money is going to follow you, right? I mean, I think that it depends, right, on how you think. But yes, I would rather have more time. And what about this one? Would you rather have Telekinesis, the ability to move things with your mind, right? Or uh, telepathy, the ability to read minds. Which one would you rather and why? Maybe I will read it further. Telepathy. Um, Mm. Mm. Ability. Okay, why? Because maybe I can know what the people are thinking about me or about the things around them. Okay. And the other That's one? Spooky. <laughs> that is a spooky, okay? <laughs> All right. Well, could be, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would rather have telekinesis. Okay. Because I don't like know what the people think about me. Okay. Because I'm insecure. I insecure. I'm insecure. Uh -huh. And I depends about why the people say about me. Mm -hmm. So if I have ability to read minds, I don't I don't be in peace. Okay. Never. I won't be. I won't be. I won't be. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other ones? Telekinesis or telepathy? I will rather have uh, telepathy. Uh, because okay. It this ability could give you a chance to work uh, in a better world. Oh, for example, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh -huh. I would rather have a telekinesis because I am a lazy person <laughs> and I can I can uh, attract <laughs> the water and ah, now. Okay, so that was really honest, okay? I would rather telekinesis too. Telekinesis? Okay, why? Because this ability sounds great. <laughs> okay, it sounds great. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. and you don't need telepathy. Feel the power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he okay. has some. How do you say trucos? Um, <clears throat> tricks. So he knows tricks. Okay. <clears throat> I know. Okay. All right, guys. And the last one. Let's see. Would you rather work more hours a day but have longer weekends or work fewer hours a day with more work days? Which would you rather? I would rather work more hours a day, but have a longer weekend. Because uh, I can have more free time in this uh, thing. What is for? Okay. And the other ones? Would you rather work more hours a day but have longer weekends? Imagine three, four days off. Or work mm, hours? none of those. No, none of those. Why not? No, I could rather work uh, less, <laughs> less uh, than actuality. Than currently. Than currently. But uh, I can work uh, more. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And the other ones? Uh, maybe I should like to rather to work a few more hours a day. Because Baja. for the traffic. Uh -huh. yes, because yeah. for the traffic. Very good, Carlos. I agree. But imagine, guys, so let's say that you need to work from 7 to what? From 7 to 7? But you have more days free. But if you, you need work to from a Sunday to Saturday and at no, from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m., is less time free or free time mm -hmm. yes that is correct but i wouldn't I, like like that uh -huh. i used to work well some weeks or some months uh in a call center they changed your schedule and they uh they they offered like uh might be two dates with um 10 hours an example or might be three dates from 7 a.m. to, as you said, 7 p.m., but they offer you uh, Friday, Saturday, or sometimes Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <clears throat> it's depending uh, to which call center you work, but mm -hmm. I had that experience, and I think that is good because you have to work, like, every day hard, but at the end, you will have you will be compensated for that if you think you will be compensated because you will have more time you will you will sleep the whole day the first day that you get off that you get off and then the rest of the day you can have um, you can visit your family you can stay with your kids you know or, or do something else not really your family but personal business right for me i, I would rather to work more hours every day and then have longer weekends. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Jancy. Yes, I agree. I think that it will be better in that way. But it depends, right? Because Nelson wants to work less hours, right? Yes. Okay, guys. So now let's move to the listening quiz. But this time we are going to uh, take this quiz in a different way. Okay, why? Because we are going to, first of all, uh, listen, okay? So we have just two questions, yeah? I'm going to play the recording and here, right here, you have um, the script, right? You have the script of the recording so you can read along with the recording, okay? You can hear and you can read at the same time, okay? So here we go, I'm going to play it, so read, and listen, okay, pronunciation and everything. Let me, um, let me see. Yes, here we go. 
I have great news to report. I just got a promotion and a raise. I've been working for my company for the past three years, and things have gone extremely well. First, I helped my department increase sales by 200 percent during that time. We have advertised and promoted our products at trade shows, in the newspaper, and on TV, and customers have really enjoyed our products. As a result, our company's reputation and image have expanded beyond our area. Now, more and more customers are learning about us by word of mouth. When you have satisfied customers, the news gets around. In addition to increased sales, I've established a good working relationship with my colleagues. We recognize each person's strengths and respect others' opinions. I think my coworkers feel I can lead the department in the right direction. Therefore, I humbly accepted the promotion and raise, and I'll strive to do my best for my company and my customers in the future. Perfect. Let me ask you guys: the man has worked for his company for how many years? Three years. For three years. Three years. Three. And why is the man up for a promotion? Because he increased the sales by 20% during that time. Excellent. 200%, my bad, 200%. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, so who wants to read this part? I need a volunteer to read this uh, paragraph. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nobody? Thank you, Anna. Okay, I have great news. To report, I just got a promotion and a raise. I've been working for my company for the past three years, and things have gone extremely well first. I helped my department increase sales by 200% during that time. We had advertised and prom advertised and promoted yes. our products at trade shows mm -hmm. in the newspaper and on TV and customers have really enjoyed our products as a result our company reputation and imagine have expanded Mm -hmm. beyond our area now more, more and more customers are learning about use by awards of mount when you have satisfied customer the news get around in addition to increased sales mm -hmm. i established a good working relationship with the college we recognize each person is strange and respect other opinions. I think my co-worker feel I can lead the department in the right duration. Therefore, I humbly accept the promotion and raise and I'll strive to do my best for my company and my customers in the future. Thank you. Uh, repeat after me, please, uh, Anna. Mm -hmm. Say uh, colleagues. Colleagues. Yes. Now, sales. 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 Now, say us. 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 About us. About us. Yes. What is the meaning of a strive, guys? What is the meaning of a strive? A strive? Restaurar. Mm, restaurar? Not exactly. No, asegurar. Asegurar? Mm, no. A strive? It's like a compliment, but uh, in general, I don't know. Yes. A strive means esforzarse. Si usted dice, I will strive to do my best, me voy a esforzar a hacer lo mejor que pueda. Strive, okay? Now, let me ask you those two questions, okay? What do you think about this? What factors and personal qualities do you think companies consider when giving an employee a promotion? What are the 
factors and personal qualities that your company looks for when giving a promotion, when giving a new position to somebody else? When factors maybe is a increased sales, sales. Okay. Sell, sales, sales. Mm -hmm. Sales. Okay. All right. So, okay. Increase. Uh, I don't know the if the word useful can be. Okay. When something is useful, okay. Or someone is uh, helpful, okay. Mm -hmm. When your res results are, uh, are good. When your results are good, perfect. Mm -hmm. And you solve problems. And you uh, solve problems. That is that's correct. That's appreciated ability. Perfect. And on the other hand, what behaviors and personality traits work against an employee who is seeking a promotion? Unpunctual. Okay. Very good. When the person is not punctual, okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Lazy. Okay, oh, lazy. when somebody is lazy. Mm -hmm. Lazy. A problematic person. So, uh, yes, a problematic person. That is true. Okay, guys. Now, before we go, because we're almost done, okay, what we are going to take is the grammar quiz because on Monday we are going to start with a new topic that is related to the future. And I need to take the quiz. I'm going to because uh, it is important for me to measure, okay? And your knowledge. Let me send it. There you go. Uh, and the passcode is, let me send it. Okay, the passcode is English 2023, okay? That is the passcode. Okay, guys, take that quiz. It is so easy and simple. Where is the link? Because I can. You don't, you don't see it. Um, in the chat. Yes, I cannot see. In the chat, but here in Zoom. I see. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. God, can see. Mm -hmm. Ya vi que fácil en la que me equivoqué. Creí que era pregunta. Okay. No, I can't see the, the test. You can, you can see it. Uh, let me resend it. In the chat again. Uh, let me send it to Carlos Eduardo. Carlos Eduardo. I'm going to send a direct message. Uh, Jennifer. Okay. Jennifer. Okay. Let me see. Jennifer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys, take it. Okay, I can see that I have. Well, I, I only have Gen Z. Okay, I go Carlos Dominguez, Gen Z. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carlos. Okay, I got Salvador, I got Rafael, I got Wilbur. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I got Anna. Okay, I got Nelson. Okay, very good. I got Susanna. Let me see. Mm, okay. I go Walter, perfect. Okay. Okay, let's give one minute to the ones that are missing. Okay, I got rose. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got Carlos Arias. Um, okay. Okay, guys, I got Andrea, Carlos Eduardo. Okay. Was it difficult? No, right. It was kind of kind of easy. Um okay, I got I think that yes, Jennifer is the last one. Okay, yes, perfect. I got all of you. Right now we are going to listen to, uh the last listening before we go. Okay, this is a short listening, so pay attention and let's try to get the answers. Okay. So let me see where is it. Okay, here we go. If you're looking for a new job, here are some job interview tips you should keep in mind when meeting with a potential employer. First, be sure to dress appropriately for the situation. If you are interviewing for a teaching job, then you might want to consider wearing nice pants and a dress shirt. However, you don't want to overdress for the interview either. Next, be sure to do some research on the company for which you are interviewing. This will help you know if you have the needed skills or experience to work for that company. Finding out something about the company will also help you ask intelligent questions about their business to show them you are interested in their company. Finally, be prepared to tell them why you would be the best choice for the position. You don't have to boast about your accomplishments, but you can tell them in a confident and direct way why you can help their company better than other applicants. Okay, guys. Uh, for a job interview, a man should consider wearing... Shirt. Pants. A dress? A dress, appropriately. Okay, a dress shirt. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? And what about this one? Finding out about the company can help people. What do you think? Finding out. Like searching about the company. Mm -hmm. To answer the question. Uh, to answer to answer questions, yes, to show their interest in working there. Okay, so the last word that we are going to learn before we go ahead and rest is boast. What is the meaning of boast? Means this one, it says you don't have to boast about your accomplishments. Boast Pre means presumir. Mm -hmm. Accomplishment, logros. Okay. All right, guys, uh, we are going to stop right here just because of the time, but I'll see you back on 
uh, Monday, please try to rest and try to study. Do not forget to work on the platform, guys. Do not forget, please. All right. Uh, the only person that please stay with me is Rafael. Then the other ones, you may go ahead and sleep and rest. Okay. Okay. See you Bye -bye. on Monday. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Have a good Thank weekend. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Enjoy. Have a good yes. weekend. See you on Monday. Be careful. On Monday. Okay. Take care. You as well. Thank you. All right. So, Rafael, how are you? How do you feel right now? Uh, uh, just a little tired. But I'm uh, okay. Okay, Rafael. Okay, Rafael. So, this uh, feedback is going to be kind of short, Okay. Basically, what I would like to ask you is about uh, our, uh, you know, interactions, our classes, right? So I would like to know what do you think about our classes these um, three weeks, right, that we have been together? Um, what do you think yeah. about the dynamic of the class? What do you think about this module well, in general? Well, this module was, uh, I, no, it's been interesting, uh, good. I think the dynamic is good and the time no se siente, el tiempo no se siente para nada. Entonces, eso es muy bueno que nos mantenga en esa dinámica. Uh, I have a problem with the uh, la, the, 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 the last class I you couldn't I, join. I have, yeah, uh, um, because I was a uh, uh, a very tired, um, and I I lose my concentration. And, and, yes, you couldn't. And I can I, I need to uh, practice this class and the the yesterday class because I I I, I can I can uh, be present. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, uh, but in general, the 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 dynamic is very very good. I, I felicito mucho. Me gusta <laughs> mucho su clase. Thank Not you. Rafael. Okay, Rafael. Well, um, yes, I read your message that you couldn't connect yesterday, right? So, um, and I think that sometimes, yes, we feel very tired. And the first thing that I would like to say is that thank you because you are really responsible, right? So you haven't actually failed till uh, yesterday that you couldn't connect, right? So it is really noticeable when you don't connect. And in this case, because you participate a lot, right? You are always uh, in the class. You are always giving your opinion. And that is something really good. So even though right now you feel tired, right? And you say, um, I cannot concentrate myself. Like I cannot be focused on the class, but you are uh, always giving your opinion. If you, have, if you hadn't told me this, I wouldn't have thought that you were not concentrated on the class, right? Because I mean, probably, yes, you cannot concentrate on the class, but you are always, at least uh, as I notice it, you are always present, right? You are always there and that is something okay. good. That is part of your responsibility. So that means that you are really responsible, right? Then um, first of all, that's, well, what I would like to say that thank you because you are really responsible and you are always there participating. So do not lose your motivation. Do not lose um, that, actually that attitude that you have because at the end that is going to, help you out to learn faster the language. And of course, that is going to help you out to um, get more and more a uh, fluency vocabulary. And you are going to have a lot of experiences with classmates as well, right? Because at the end, uh, the main purpose, if you have noticed, is that you develop your speaking, right? Because you are in intermediate level, but you are going to jump to intermediate two and three and then advanced. So um, at that level, you need to master most of the of the of the vocabulary and, and sentences and everything. So I really want to say thank you because of that, because you are really responsible and you are really, but really, um, I would say proactive when participating, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I I I am doing my I doing my best. Mm -hmm. uh, Ay, se me ha ido la palabra. 
mi, mi mejor esfuerzo. Uh, my, my best drive. My best drive. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Well, um, have you had any issues with the platform? Uh, not really. Uh, I forget it, uh, complete the, the test in the platform um, because I I working in my bedroom mm -hmm. uh, the last uh, weekend and I can have a time. I, mm -hmm. I, I didn't. Not, I didn't have a time. Um, I I promise uh be uh of be at the day uh this weekend. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, okay. How long have you been learning English, Rafael? How long? Um, I I tried three times. I tried mm -hmm. in the uh. Bachillerato. Okay, high school. And the high school and the university in now. In now. But okay. but my purpose is learn English in one year this time. Um, I try my best effort mm -hmm. to do yeah. it. Okay. Yes. And have you taken classes with English Corporativo before, or this is the first time? This is the first time I oh. taking in classes in a, a prolingua institute and in in the the high school, but the oh. high school is is uh, the teacher the English teacher only uh, say this is the A B C you don't understand it's, yeah. it's a uh, full content, but mm -hmm. because he, the the English teacher have a, a many many students, and and the quality of this class is pure. Mm -hmm. But in Prolingua was good. We we have a a, a natural English. Uh, person. A, a native. A native, yeah. And, and the pronunciation is very, very different. Yes. Uh, yeah, we have a, a, a one time this this girl, and she explained the pronunciation is, and the na native is very different. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. So I really like that that you had that, that opportunity, right, to actually get that those type of classes with them because at the end you see reality is kind of different right so people from the u.s they are going to speak really fast yes. and sometimes the pronunciation is going to be different so but i really um i'm really happy that you had the opportunity to to study with them as well right mm -hmm. yeah my motivation this time is i go in a position uh a main position in the end the in my job Okay. And I can uh, speak with a uh, uh, native English persons, and maybe I I will travel to to United States for work. Okay, that is awesome. Yes, so, uh, not really, but <laughs> it's I job. Mean, yeah, that is awesome in the way that you are like um you know uh, growing professionally right yes so that is yes. that is awesome okay and it's a, a huge opportun opportunity opportunity yeah but the 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 uh, i learned in in the life when you scale is uh, up the position in a structure the the things is more complicated and and if you not be a stranger you 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 can lose uh you your healthy mental health um is com very very complicated yes. because uh the 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 person depends on you and you you can you can fall you know yes because you are the leader 
my dear, the, the dear is the boss, but, but, but I can, I, I, my, mi deber es ayudarla, entonces, es una gran responsabilidad. It's a big responsibility. But, but I'm pretty sure that if you have been selected for that responsibility, it's because you are capable of doing it, right? And capable of taking that. I'll try, teacher. Yes, of course. Okay, so, Rafael, do you have any question, anything else, something that you would like to ask about um, any topic or, or something that is not clear? Um, the last class I, I was, uh, I don't understand the structure. Sorry, but... Va, pero me quedé estancado en la primera estructura y de ahí ya no pasé porque no la entendí. Ok. Maybe it's about past morals. Los verbos yes. morales. Yes. Uh, specific de have, have. Why the double have? Okay. I don't understand that. All right. So, you know, in English, we have um, this structure, which is about modal verbs, but it's always a part of the conditional. I think that it, you said this one. If I had had money, I would have traveled to Europe. So, si yo hubiese tenido dinero. ¿Ya? So, este es el auxiliar nada más. Y como la estructura dice que tenemos que poner el verbo en pasado participio y como el tú, si yo hubiese tenido, es el have siempre, se pone had had. Pero este es el auxiliar y este es el verbo. In past to. In past participle. Ya. Yeah. Pasado participio. Ajá. Entonces, básicamente, por eso es que siempre va a ser así. Cuando usted, usted quiere decir, por ejemplo, en pasado perfecto, yo había tenido dinero. I had had. Yo había tenido. Había, no hubiera tenido. Eh, this one es, eh, también podría decir uh, hubiera. De, depende del contexto. Hubiera o, a, o había. Ah, ok. Entonces, se dicen de la misma manera, pero uno tiene que encajarlo en el contexto de la situación. Correcto. Usted lo interpreta en el contexto de la situación. Ok. Uh -huh. Exactamente. Entonces, básicamente, ese es el hat-hat que, que ve usted ahí. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok. Perfecto. The English is more, me, uh, is more less specific than the Spanish. <laughs> yes. That yes. is correct. Mm -hmm. But yes, this is just a matter of practicing, right? You need to practice and practice and, and you will see that you are going to get it. Okay. Uh, well, the other thing, I, I have a, a little problem because uh, is uh, I forget the words. Mm -hmm. Mientras voy aprendiendo, a veces se olvidan las palabras que uno va aprendiendo y... y y de repente uno dice, pero si esto lo aprendí hace bastante y es bien fácil, y ahora ya no lo recuerdo. Eso es otra. Es que quizás porque, ah, como no lo utilizamos, right, por eso es que se le olvida. Que tal vez si sí, lo utilizáramos sometimes. como en todos los días, le aseguro que la palabra no se le olvidara. Pero como son palabras que solo lo utilizamos una vez. ¿Y qué significa esto? Esto, ok. Y se le, uno dice, ok, significa esto, pero después... No, ya no lo usamos. Entonces, no yes. Practice. Cada palabra que usted vaya aprendiendo, trate de hacer una oración con esa palabra. Entonces, usted se va a acordar de la oración y por ende, también de la palabra. Pero si solo se aprende palabras, le va a costar un poquito más porque sí, las palabras se olvidan súper rápido. Pero si usted crea una oración y trata de repetirla todo, como sea, unas diez veces, ¿verdad? Y repítela y repítela y así va va a aprender un poquito más, porque a ese nivel donde ustedes están en intermedio, ya es importante que vayan agarrando frases completas. Uh -huh. Entonces, okay. eso sería como un método para que se pueda mm, aprenderse de memoria, ¿verdad? Las cosas. Uh -huh. Thank you for the advice. Ok. All right. 
Any other doubt? Um, for the moment, no teacher. Okay, perfect. So then, Rafael, um, that was pretty much what I needed to ask you, right, and talk with you. Then if you have any questions, something that I can help you with, do not hesitate and send a message to me, right? Send a message uh, on the WhatsApp, right? To my personal number or on the group, it's okay. And if I can help you out, I will do it. So any question, let me know, okay? Thank you, teacher. All right. So I hope you have a great weekend. Take care and I'll see you back on Monday. Okay, try to rest. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye, teacher. Bye. See you Monday. See you Monday.